Al Jazeera submitting here at the ICC on Tuesday a formal request to investigate and prosecute those responsible along with a dossier of evidence collected over the past six months. Uh, the submission uh, to the ICC prosecutor has highlighted the new witness evidence and video footage, uh, which clearly shows that Shireen and her colleagues were directly fired at by Israeli Defence Forces. There is ample video footage of the vehicles that were involved. We have number plates identified. It, it will be possible to identify the units involved, those who are in command, at the very least, those in command should be held responsible because they've said there's no suspicion here of, of, of any crime. So there's been a complete cover-up. The evidence, they say, uh, refutes the Israeli claim that Shireen was caught somehow in crossfire between Israeli soldiers and Palestinian gunmen on the scene. In other words, that her killing was an accident. The evidence, say lawyers, leaves no doubt that there was no other firing taking place, that there were no Palestinian gunmen in the vicinity. Shireen's murder is the ultimate demonstration of a pattern. IDF targeting journalists. This is called a war crime. The evidence is overwhelmingly clear. It's time for the ICC to take action. And we would expect anyone to do the same if it was your sister, your aunt or best friend that was killed. The media group was in full view at all times of the Israeli soldiers wearing brightly marked insignia, identifying them as journalists. The Israeli claim, therefore, according to this dossier of evidence, that no crime was committed has been sorely undermined.